aerial tram. This is the chart showing the four different types of cable-propelled transit systems. In this chapter video, we will focus on the aerial tram. This photo shows the basic internals of a typical aerial tram. The cabin enters or exits here. It then parks here. Passengers exit here. Simultaneously, passengers can go in here. This photo shows the basic structure of a typical aerial tram. You can see the cabin parked here. The parking bay is empty here because the second cabin is parked on the opposite station. This is a sample aerial tram crossing a wide open sea channel in Halong Bay, Vietnam. In an aerial tram, the two cabins start simultaneously from their respective stations. Thus, the two cabins meet at midpoint as shown here. In this photo, the stations are made to look like ancient Vietnamese palace-like buildings. These are more photos of the Halong Aerial Tramway. This is a photo of the Halong Aerial Tram in Vietnam. In this tram, boarding and deboarding of its 230 passengers can be done in 1 to 2 minutes. Upon arrival, doors on both sides open simultaneously. There can be simultaneous deboarding at the upper and lower levels on this side and boarding on this side. There being only two cabins in an aerial tram that goes back and forth, its capacity is maximized. The cabins are made as large as possible. The seating configuration in an aerial tram is just like that of an LRT, BRT, or subway. Only a few seats are allocated for seating passengers. Most of the passengers will be in a standing position. An aerial tram is usually operated by an operator that will ride on the tram during its travel. This is the operator's area in the Halong tram. The operator is able to adjust its frequency, especially during non-peak hours. This is the aerial tram in New York City showing an operator controlling its operation. Let us look at the history of the aerial tram. When the steel cable was invented in 1834, transportation using cable systems increased. An example of among the first use of aerial tram was in material transport as shown here in Grenoble, France. This is a photo of the first passenger aerial tram that was installed in Tennessee in 1891. The rest of the photos are of succeeding installations up to 1908. These are photos of aerial tram installations from 1909 to 1929. These are photos of aerial tram installations from 1931 to 1986. The first urban application of an aerial tram was installed in New York in 1976. It was followed by higher capacity models in several cities. The installation in New York in 1976 would not be considered in the cable car industry to be the first urban ART because of its low passenger capacity when it was originally installed in 1976. It would still be the ART in Medellin, Colombia in 2004 that would be considered the first urban ART in the world. We now go into the applications of urban aerial trams. There are two types. We first look into aerial trams with Station 1 and Station 2 located within the city. We will show four examples. This aerial tram is in New York, USA. This aerial tram is in Portland, Oregon, USA. This aerial tram is in Brest, France. And finally, this aerial tram is in Ha Long City, Vietnam. We now go into the second type. Station 1 is located in the city while Station 2 is located on a mountaintop. We will show four examples. This aerial tram is in Cape Town, the second largest city in South Africa. It is host to one of the new seven wonders of nature called the Table Mountain, of which the Palawan Underground River is also on the list. 
This touristic site can be accessed by aerial tram. The lower station is located on the edge of the densely populated area around the city, while the upper station is located on the top of Table Mountain. On the left of this page is a satellite photo of the alignment. On the right is a photo of the route. This aerial tram is in Hakodate City, Japan. Like Cape Town, it starts at the edge of the city population towards the mountain. This aerial tram is in the capital city of Seoul, South Korea. It is located on top of a small mountain in the middle of the city that is only 270 meters high. It has an all-around view of the entire city that is generally flat. On the left of this page is a satellite photo of the alignment. On the right is a photo of the route. This aerial tram is located in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, site of the 2016 Olympics. An aerial tram is usually limited to only two stations. However, three or more stations is possible. This is an actual example of the Rio de Janeiro aerial tram line. The way to create an aerial tram with three stations is to combine two tramway lines together in a series. While there are four stations, it can only be considered three stations because station 2 and station 3 is a combined station or an interchange. In this case, the passenger has to go down and walk to continue his journey to the next station. A park was created with many amenities so that a passenger can go around the park before proceeding to the next station. This is a satellite view showing the three stations. The gap is 160 meters and can be walked in three minutes. This is the sectional view of the line showing the grade elevations of the travel path. The height of Antipolo City is embedded here to show that an aerial tram in this city may be viable. Antipolo is just a city next to Metro Manila. Metro Manila has two times the population of Rio de Janeiro. These are the views of the Rio de Janeiro aerial tram. If an aerial tram is installed in Antipolo City, it will have views of Metro Manila similar to these views. Aside from an aerial tram, Rio de Janeiro also has two lines of aerial cable car. Metro Manila, Metro Cebu, and Baguio have the potential to have both types of installations. Another example is the aerial tram in Merida, Venezuela, which has five stations. It starts at the edge of the city of Merida, proceeding towards four mountaintop attractions. This is the alignment and specs of the Merida aerial tram showing the five stations. This is the first station of the aerial tram. The two parking bays of the cabin can be seen here. Photos of the station from different angles are shown. Camera icons are shown where the photos were taken. This is an intermediate station. Just as the intermediate station in Rio de Janeiro, the passenger has to deboard and board at the next passenger platform to proceed to the next station. But this time, the walk is just a few meters away in one building. The walk will take less than 20 seconds. In this third station, we can see the rotating bull wheels in action. This may have been intentionally not covered to fascinate passengers on how ART works. This is the fourth station. This is the fifth and last station. This would be the configuration of both aerial tram and aerial cable car consisting of five stations. There are good reasons for choosing multi-station aerial tram over a multi-station aerial cable cars. The reasons would usually be lower capital, operational, and maintenance costs. The following are the current record specs of aerial trams. These are the current top two longest aerial trams in the world located in Armenia and USA. This is the highest capacity aerial tram located in Halong, Vietnam. It is a double decker with a capacity of 230 passengers. 
This is the fastest aerial tram located at the Venoise Express, France, that can travel at 45 kph. This is the steepest aerial tram located in Luan, Norway, that can travel at a slope of 53 degrees. These are among the notable aerial trams in the world. From frozen landscapes in Italy, to desert landscapes in Israel, to mountains above the clouds in Switzerland, and the USA. The Blue Mountains National Park in Australia. The Table Mountain, South Africa. Palm Springs, USA. El Brony, France. Shilton, Switzerland. Corvach, Switzerland. Lunase, Austria. Greens, Switzerland. Ahon, Austria. Grandmot, France. Davos, Switzerland. Durango, Mexico. Gyumgang, South Korea. Bern, Switzerland. Catinaccio, Italy. Dubrovnik, Croatia. Andalsnes, Norway. Bern, Switzerland. Vagrain, Austria. Vaigronda, Austria. Blatten, Switzerland. Bozene, Italy. Grouse Mountain, Canada. And these are smaller sized photos of more aerial trams in Europe. 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 Aerial trams in the United States. Aerial trams in Japan. Aerial trams in Asia. More aerial trams in Asia. And aerial trams in other countries. This is a shortened video clip of the components of a basic aerial tram. It shows the latest features and options of a modern funicular. If installed in the Philippines, it will have most of these features.